A little late to the party, aren't you? If you're looking to loot the place, some blood eagles are ahead of you in line. I'd stop you, but... Uh, I think I quit. Yeah. Raider types, but more bloodthirsty. You know? You can usually deal with the crater sort. Blood eagles, though. <laughs> they enjoy the killing. Name's Woods. Corporal Woods. Hellcat Company. Mercenaries. We got hired by this creep of a doctor to guard the place. Among other things. Promised us salvage rights here when he was done. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna collect on that. <sighs> Love the optimism, but uh, my tickets punch. I think I can go easy. Knowing someone's gonna take out those blood eagles. Make better choices than I did.
generating papers in a university lab to attempt to secure tenure seemed pointless. It felt irresponsible in the face of everything happening. West Tech approached me about joining the Greenhouse Initiative, genetic engineering to produce new crops and multiply production. It swept away my concerns about joining the private sector. Here was a chance to be on the cutting edge and solve real problems at the same time. Dr. Dumont described the goals of the Pan Immunity Virion and the Greenhouse Initiative in terms that set my mind ablaze. There was satisfaction to be had there, doing the best work, advancing humanity, making the world better than it was. Then the funding vanished. The research staff was being cut with no explanation, simply a shift in priorities. Dumont begged me to stay promising the new work would be vital and challenging. To my everlasting shame, I did. And long. Wow, it's freezing in here. Look at all this ice. The environmental controls must be damaged. What happened here? Those are Hellcat Company uniforms, right? It looks like a massacre. Blood Eagles? What are they doing here? Looks like Paladin Romani was right. There's a link between the abductions, Blackburn, and the super mutants. We still need to figure out what. Give me a moment to look at these terminals. Oh, that's not good. The vault's on internal lockdown. I guess someone's responding to the Blood Eagle attack. If there are automated defenses still working, they'll all be active. We may be facing more than just blood eagles. Be careful. Let's get moving. I'll follow your lead. Locked. Must be the security lockdown. Let me try something. Got it. I was able to use the Pit Boys protocols to get the doors open, but it fried the circuits. If we run into any more locked doors, we're gonna need another way through.
distance close. Yeah! Hello, Mr. Court! I guess we found Dr. Blackburn. Looks like most of this place is locked off. We need to search everywhere, but our options are limited right now. I think that door labeled mainframe is stuck open, though. Let's start there. This vault was a biological research facility originally. They locked a small team of geniuses inside. Perhaps it is fitting that I found this place. I have been honored to fashion, but less than forthcoming about its nature.
What can I help you with, Initiate? Our first priority is finding any clues about the missing people and what's been going on here. Anything else can wait. Unfortunately, no. The Pipway systems are pretty proprietary. I'd need to spend a day in a workshop modifying them. Good idea, though. No. It appears he transferred all main system control to the Overseer's office. It's the smart move with the Blood Eagles here.
refusal to depart is a distraction I do not need. Please, I am asking you again. Leave this place and do not return. There is nothing for you here but sorrow. Whatever you think you will accomplish here, I promise you that you will not.
are. Oh, you're the one I talked to back at Fort Atlas. You know her? Listen, we're in a bad way here. Cut off from the rest of our people and the damn robots keep coming in waves. We need help. I've been trying to get us out of here since we've been locked in. I just found this vault security key card. Should open all the doors in this place. You help us, and it's yours. Valdez? You got someone else out there? <laughs> Should I be jealous? I don't think we've got much choice. We're going to need that key card to bypass the rest of the security doors. in here. Okay, maybe I'm no sweet little orphan, but I actually like some of these idiots. I, I don't want to just leave them for dead. Come on, come on, I can hear more coming. We got a deal? Nothing. Same as stopping you from shooting us if we let you in. We don't need more trouble. We just want to get out of here. Help us hold off the bots and we'll leave peacefully. For you, anyway. No promises if someone else tries to stop us. I told you I just found it, dummy. I was about to try it out right when I heard you walk up. Now we're talking. Now give me a sec to get the door open. Good thing Shin's not here. I don't think he'd agree to this. No shooting, boys. They're on our side. Crap, here they come again. Every day is a good day to die.
shame you showed up when you did. Looks like I was right about you. Shame we keep meeting under these circumstances. We could get into some real trouble. Can't believe the Brotherhood bailed us out. Well, a deal's a deal. Key card's yours. Yeah, banged up, but with the coast clear, we should be able to get out of here. I don't say this a lot, but thanks. I can't believe we just got thanked by a blood eagle. As always with you. All right, I guess I owe you that much. What's up? Yeah, well, turns out you don't know me all that well. I've been running this gang for ages. I like the excitement. Don't act like you've got no blood on your hands. You ain't better than me. Duh, we're looting the joint. One of our people trailed those Hellcat idiots back here. A vault's gotta be full of good stuff. Guns, bombs, food, and... Okay, this one turned out to be some kind of nightmare freak show, but can't blame us for trying. Yeah, I figured. Them's the breaks. I'm sure they tried to kill you, too. You won. It happens. What? Too heartless? You don't lead a gang with feelings, man. I'll be honest. The only ones I actually liked are in here with me anyway. Uh, not my problem. Hey, don't look at me like that. We'd be dead if you hadn't shown up. If they're not, they soon will be. I try to get these guys here to mount a rescue. They'll ask me themselves. <laughs> ass. Get it? <laughs> ass. Can't get enough of me, can you? All yours. You got this far, so I'm guessing the way you came is clear. Thanks again. Maybe we won't even shoot you if we see you again. No promises. You got... interesting friends, Initiate. Search log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn, number 57. I begin to doubt my own sanity at times. My efforts, while not without progress, continue to fail to bear real fruit. The FEV seems almost deliberately 
malignant, as if it had a consciousness, and rejects my every attempt to bend it toward a benevolent end. I have come to recognize the signs of imminent metastasis and conversion to the so-called supermutant state. I have to deal with the product of such failure and have taken to disposing of these unfortunates outside the vault itself. I regret that my current methods of disposal may, in the short term, increase the supermutant population in Appalachia, but it cannot be avoided. End law. These vessels were once filled with specimens, stocked here so that captive scientists could turn them into perversions of nature. Like West Tech, they concerned themselves only with whether they could do these things, not what benefit they might bring. At best, they made weapons. Such a pointless waste. I have turned what they left behind to better ends.
necessity made them no more pleasant or palatable. Seeing these things, I imagine you must intend to kill me. I do not blame you for this. We're supposed to bring him in alive. Don't forget that. No matter what we've seen here. Research log, Dr. Edgar Blackburn. Number 112. My work's demand for human subjects has increased dramatically as I make ground toward my ultimate goal. To this end, I have contracted with a group of mercenaries calling themselves the Hellcat Company. Trustworthy, if such a term applies here. They display a useful moral flexibility. They do not question the nature of my work or my need for human subjects. And I do not illuminate them. Already they have begun acquiring new subjects at a far greater pace than I could. And a contingent remained to go to fault itself. I must be careful. A mercenary is only as loyal as their pay, after all. My control of the vault security systems keeps them in check. For now, and long. Log week uh, 148-148. There is little progress to report. Too little. What can I help you with, Initiate? Is still unstable. When stressed, subjects will shift or, or phase. It's horrible. Deliberately exposing animals, Whatever people, to radiation, it electric... But it's inconsistent. Uncontrollable. Without some understanding of the underlying physics or, or biology, there is little I can do to stabilize or improve on it. If I could study the original specimen, perhaps I could make some progress. But there is apparently only one subject in a secured cryonics bay with military access controls. I've no doubt Eric could get in, but... He has refused. I have put everything into this research. I'm out of time. I will not make my quota. Oh, forgive me, Molly. Genetic Research Log, Week 142. Specimen X-001 has been a most remarkable success. I confess, I was skeptical when Molly showed me her analysis. There was little to work with, given its uh, unique biology. As an initial bench test, I spliced each of our extant stable mutations into separate samples. They all worked flawlessly as if we had spent months adapting them. And then the mutations uh, spread. They somehow shifted from one sealed Petri dish to the next until all the samples exhibited all of the mutations. Fascinating. 
I've wanted to proceed to live subject testing immediately, but all of our attempts to resuscitate a specimen have been blocked. Hans is looking into it. In the meantime, this transference capability merits further investigation. What can I help you with, Initiate? We found a few defunct cryonic storage capsules and bunkers on our way out from California, but never operational. And never anything on that scale. It's no wonder this vault is frozen over. The coolant requirements must be enormous. Agreed. After you, Initiate. I can't take it anymore. You're not with those others, are you? Can you get us out of here? Oh, we're locked in some weird cell, in a frozen vault, being held prisoner by some lunatic in a lab coat who experiments on us. We're Peachy. How are you? Cassie, Cassie Halloway. L listen, I ain't trying to be rude. I'll tell you my whole dang life story if you want. Just get me out of here first. Uh, not exactly. I think the locks are controlled remotely. The doctor guy always does something back behind the stairs there before he comes back to grab one of us for his tests. Somebody get us out of here. Okay, I was gonna go for a walk, but I guess I'll stay here for now. Sorry, seriously, though. Thank you. I can't take it anymore. Everything hurts. I feel sick. Please.
everything hurts. I feel sick. You've got my thanks, stranger. Introductions are in order, I guess. My name's Cassie. Did I say that already? Came in on a Blue Ridge caravan. Doc was there, too. Had some people slip away in the night, but... The guide said it happens. People turn back, that kind of thing. Then one night we shelter from a storm and... Those Hellcat goons ambush us. Capture us all. Spent days in a cart or something, blindfolded, before they dumped me here. Yeah, that's me. You know Uncle R? God, he's gotta be so worried. He might even express an emotion besides world weary. <sighs> I hope he's alright. Now that sounds like a fun bunch. Uncle Art mentioned them in, uh, broad terms. Hurts. Can't say I'm not glad to meet you, though. Please? I'm not injured. Got lucky. The doc didn't do any surgery on me. That nut job was dosing me with diseases, though. Said he was testing incubation and immune response times. <sighs> Weird thing is, he kept apologizing. Got a bad case of sludge lung now. <clears throat> but I'm... <clears throat> I'm holding up. <clears throat> Some of the others are in worse shape. Is she coming back? I think we're the last surviving ones. It used to be more. When he takes you out of the cells, you don't always come back. Hasn't been down here in a few <laughs> days, though. Figured he... got what he wanted, or someone done him in. Good timing on your part. The crappy rations he gave us last time are nearly gone. Coming back? For real? You must be my guardian angel. Well, well, I did get kidnapped and locked up by a mad scientist, so maybe not. But still, thank you. You get to miss him breathing normally. Everything hurts. I feel sick. Please, help us. Maybe I could, but <laughs> there's no way the rest will. I don't even know where we are, but <clears throat> I'm guessing we're not close to civilization. These folks won't make it a mile in their condition. It's better if they stay here. When we've cleared the vault, I'll radio Fort Atlas. They can send the medics with the recovery team and get them to safety. <laughs> Whatever Fort Atlas is, that sounds good to me. I feel sick. Thanks kindly. I'll leave some food and water for you to share until help arrives. You're a peach. Don't let me die. 
I am here. My social calendar is wide open, as it happens. What do you want to know? Well, I'm a captive audience. Too soon? Eh, what do you want to know? Is he coming back? We ain't going anywhere. Hey, if you run into that crazy doctor, give him a kick for me. I can't right? take it anymore. Please, don't let him take me again. The thing she did to us. Give Blackburn a kick for me. What can I help you with, Initiate? We need to get to Blackburn. Paladin Romani wants him alive. It was a nightmare. A waking nightmare. Cassie looked out for us. He loved everything he did to us. I just want to forget about all this. Can't thank you enough for what you. If done. I never see another vault, it'll be too soon now. The doctor, he's insane. The doctor, he's insane. I, I just want to forget about all this. Please, don't let him take me again.
I ask one final time. Leave this vault and the things you have seen. You cannot change what has happened here. Leave me to this cold and lonely place. Card doesn't work? Blackburn must have overridden the door codes. Probably guess the looters might find a key card eventually if they had the run of the place. From here? If I had more tools, time, and some schematics, sure. Under the circumstances, we'll have to get creative. These doors are hydraulically sealed. If we can find the lines that feed to this door, we might be able to cut the pressure holding it shut. Look for a utility room nearby. What can I help you with, Initiate? Take a look. See if you could find the lines to the Overseer's office. Nice work. You might have a future as a scribe if you want it. Let's head back. The door should be open now. It appears neither the vault defenses nor the blood eagles were a match for you. Quite formidable. You can lower your weapons. It would clearly be futile for me to struggle, and I surrendered the enemy.
Contrary to what you may think, I did not lie to you when we spoke at Fort Atlas. I did say it would be difficult for a layperson to understand. What you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes or consigns me to whatever hell may exist is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. What you call insanity is merely the regrettable necessity of my work. That it condemns me in your eyes or consigns me to whatever hell may exist is a price I pay willingly. I have ensured the future of humanity, not just in Appalachia, but the world. No cost is too high for this. Were it possible to achieve it without the suffering of innocence, I would have done so. After seeing what you've done here, I hope hell does exist. Despise me if you will. I took no pleasure in what had to be done. FEV was never intended to be a source of abominations and grotesqueries. It was to be the next step in human evolution. Our refinement into something greater and better. Certainly the fools at West Tech were more obsessed with observing its failures than correcting them. But its true purpose was for good. And now it will fulfill that purpose. Because of me. Listening to this is making me understand Shin's point of view. This is true. I wish it could have been avoided. It was easier and safer, for myself if not for others, to release those failures before their metamorphosis was complete. I had work to finish, and I knew the Brotherhood was out there to deal with the errors. Your errors tunneled into Fort Atlas and could have killed everyone! Is that so? It seems my failures were indeed steps on the road to success. That level of coordination suggests an increase in cognitive development over the typical example. Still, I bear the Brotherhood no ill will. My apologies for that. I am sure your Brotherhood will happily interrogate me until I have no tale left to tell. I will be entirely forthcoming. Though I expect you will want to conduct your Inquisition within confines more amenable to the Brotherhood. As for the contents of this vault, the Brotherhood is free to collect anything they like. My work here is finished. I don't like the sound of that. Do you believe I did this all blindly? Groping madly in the bodies of the innocent for some unknown and hallucinatory secret? With each iteration, each test conducted, I identified flaws in the virus and calculated their removal. I have no doubt in my work. It sounds like you haven't actually tested your perfect virus. There are... steps being taken, as we speak. Any miscalculations that might exist are minor, and will be addressed shortly. It would be pointless for me to resist at this stage. 
What will you do now? Yes, I assumed as much when you entered. Very well. Consider me arrested, if you must. I am ready to face any judgment the Brotherhood wishes to mete out. My work here is complete regardless, and it is too late for you to stop it. Do you think I take any pleasure or pride in that fact? Think what you will. But I am not inhuman. Had I been capable of accomplishing my goal without them, I would have done so. I am neither a sadist nor a homicidal maniac. I do not expect forgiveness. But I am certain what I have done will bear sufficient consequence without fabricating new sins to hang upon me. I am at your disposal, then. You can head out. I'll radio for a team to secure the site and get the prisoners to safety. Then bring Blackburn back to the fort. I'm sure the others are going to have a lot of questions for him. Good work, Initiate. I'm glad you were here. Think of me what you will. It will change nothing. The recovery team should be on their way. There is nothing left for you here. I am certain your paladin and knight will extract any information you should be they getting need back to Fort Atlas once I am shit. under guard at your fort. Good work in here, Initiate. I have said enough at present. I am sure your officers will have plenty to ask of me. I am in custody at your headquarters.